Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to calculate the percentage increase of a number in Excel. So I've got some numbers in a column at the moment, and I would like to calculate a percentage increase on them. I would like to calculate 10% extra on each of them numbers. So in cell B2, I'm going to write a formula for the first number there. So I'm going to type equals and select cell B2. And what I need to do is I want to multiply it by 110%. Or alternatively, I could multiply it by 1.1. .1. Either approach, whatever would make more sense to you. What I'm looking at doing is adding 10% more on top of that current number. So 110%, you know, 100 for a whole, 10% but what's on top of that, so I get 550. 50 is 10% of 500 and that is added on top. That number can then simply be dragged down and we will get what we need. Uh, so 10% on each one of the numbers to check out our percentage increase. Now let's say for example that maybe it wasn't to be sell out like that. Maybe we have a sale over here where we have a value like 10% and this is the you know the the amount that it's going to be increased by. I'll just use Format Painter to make that heading the same and I want to use that information. Well what we'll do there, or one approach to doing it there, is we could say equals B2 plus sorry a2 a2 multiplied by that number so what this approach is going to do is instead of using 110 percent I'm multiplying these two numbers together to find what 10 percent is and then I'm adding them on top because of the rule of bod mass indicating that multiplying and dividing will always happen before addition and subtraction I know even though I write it in this order that that will happen first. So if I press enter, I get the same result, you know, just a slightly different approach to it. This approach feeling that maybe you've got an amount to use in an alternative cell as to write, opposed to writing it within the formula like we did a moment ago with 110%. Thank you for watching, I hope you find that tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.